Sup lock dudes, thanks for joining me in Matt's lock bit. So today's video is going to be a picking and gutting video. What we have here is a Banham Euro cylinder. So the first thing we notice when looking at this lock is obviously this big fuck off security cowl that it's got. There we go, so as you can see it's held on by two grub screws, actually rounded off as well. So there we go, if we have a look this side we should be able to see the keyway a little bit better. There she is. So it's a six pin cylinder, quite a cool little feature on these Banham locks got split cam there if I can focus there we go little twin cam mechanism not that it makes a an effect of picking at all so that's the key we've got here pretty cool so we've got a slight problem with this lock if we have a look here we'll insert the key won't turn however if we flip it over turns just fine so I'm thinking we've probably got a problem with a spring maybe a snap spring or a clap spring or maybe just the springs too short so what I'm planning to do get this picked get it gutted and see if we can sort it out there we go we'll have another quick look at the key before we get going not too shabby at all so I've got this lock mounted American style, not how I normally pick. However, it's probably going to be the best for that busted up spring or whatever the hell's going on in there. So for tension, I'm going with the long end of a heavy bar on top there. Awesome stuff. Offset hybrid reach from the Valerian kit from Law Lock Tools. I'll tell you what, this pick's turning into one of my favourite picks, I'm not going to lie. So as always, I'm going to start off at the back. So I think I'm on six air now. Nothing. Five. Nothing. Fours binding, click of fours, giving us a false set. Three, counter rotation on three, click, and an even deeper false set. Nothing on two, getting a little bit of counter there off one. So we got one set, but we've lost our false set a little bit. Five, four, Ooh, fours just put us real deep. Three, two, and one. So we're searching for counter rotation now. Five's good. Four. Counter rotation of four. And we're open on four. So, looks like we're going to have some spools in here then. Quite a fun little pick actually. So I'm going to spin it all the way around because we're going to be using a pin and shoe. So let's get this thing gutted, see what it holds for us. So what a motherfucking ball like that turned out to be guys. The circlips didn't play ball, the fucking pinning shoe turned into a little wanker, but we got there in the end and this is what we found inside. So if we have a look at the key pins first, we got a bevel on one, a bevel on two, a bevel on three, which is also steel, standard for four, bevel for five, and a standard for six. So quite cool key pins. So we may have noticed we've only got five driver pins here. This is all I found when I first got this lock. I'll explain it in a second. But we've got a lovely mushroom spool for one, nothing in two. Mushroom spool again for three. We've got a standard nice deep spool for four. A mushroom again for five. And a completely standard pin for six. So these are the springs here. If we have a look at the core as well, we've got a random bit of counter milling. On number three, quite crude counter milling, if I'm honest. So I said this is what I found initially. After having a prod around the lock, I did find wedged down here in the Bible. In number two, we had this little shroom here, right by there. And that was pretty much sitting sideways with a mangle spring sat underneath it. So what that meant was the key pin from number two could drop right through the core and uh, sit in chamber two in the Bible. Uh, the way it was squashed down and sat there, it meant when the key pin sat in it, if you have a look at the picture here, it was actually uh, blocking the shear line, not allowing the lock to turn. But obviously when you flipped it upside down, gravity would bring the key pin back into the core again, allowing it to open. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a normal spool in here, I'm going to put a new spring in, and it should be working like new. So that was quite a funky pick, quite nice pins, no denying that. A uh, bit of a strange lock, but... um. Yeah, that's the Banham Euro Cylinder. Thanks for watching, guys. Please like, please subscribe, and I'll see you all again soon. Bye.